Welcome back everyone to our career mode series of SRX The Game. And we'll start here on the Season 2 Summary. So I didn't want to go too far ahead because we've got some decisions to make here very soon. So what really sticks out to me on the Season 2 finishes are the showcase events. We actually did pretty good. Now, showcase event number one, not so much. We were about, what, 25th or so it looks like. But then showcase number two, top 10. And then our most recent race, showcase number three, about 12th or 13th. I forget exactly now where we finished, but 10th place overall in the points. I'm satisfied with that. A lot more upgrades to do if we wanted to be uh, full strength in the sprint. But now let's move on and see what the game has in store for us moving forward. All right, we are done reviewing season two. I'm ready to start season three. All right, so what do we need? Now, this is our opportunity to finally see what is required. This is the information I needed to know. So the super late model is going to be opened up to us by virtue of uh, the fact that it is DLC, so they opened that up. Now, what do we need to move into the trucks, late model, and SRX? Oh, they want a championship in the 305 sprints, and then, of course, to move to late model. All right, so interesting. That is certainly not what I would hope for. Um, just from a purely fun point of view, it's, it certainly uh, gives you a lot to work toward, no doubt. But at the same time, um, I'm a little bit disappointed that we can't move around as we would like. Because again, the stadium trucks, as fun as they may be to drive, and they certainly were in the time I spent with them, limited time, um, it's not something I want to do for a full season uh, and more in the game. So, okay, that's a little bit disappointing that it requires a championship. I was really hoping it would be like a top 20 position in the points, something like that. Okay, well, we'll just have to make do with it as best we can. But the good news is we can now add the super late models. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, skip. Uh, do we want to skip? I don't know that we want to skip here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and participate there. Uh, we'll see. We may hire a driver. I mean, there's all sorts of choices we got, but I definitely don't want to just skip out on the 305s. Now, what we've got options to do here is earn a lot of money. So we already know what kind of payouts that we're going to get from the 305s. We've already seen that, but now what kind of payouts are we going to get from the super late models? What length races are we going to get? All of those sorts of questions we are about to find out. So let's go ahead and lock in our selection. All right, this will be your first season racing the super late model. That is absolutely true. Do we need any money? Uh, it hasn't asked us yet. So there are 10 races for the regulation oh, or a half or the DLC season. Okay, so, well, that's only 10 races. Interesting. So we're going to go with that. Uh, now, if you take a look here, you're going to see some of the SRX tracks. You're going to see Stafford in there, Slinger. I noticed where it is. Yeah, Lucas Oil is in there as well. Uh, we don't get uh, the dirt tracks, for sure. But then, of course, we end the season with my absolute favorite track on this planet, Nashville Fairgrounds which I would consider to be my home track for sure. So that is the one I'm most excited about. But 10 races in the season, we're going to go ahead and select that one. And our team sponsor, uh, well, we don't have a whole lot of a choice in the matter, but we do get our first opportunity to see what kind of money we might be able to get. Initial payout is five grand. Payout per race, 2500 Okay, so it doesn't look like there's going to be anything up front uh, as far as money we have to pay out. So that that looks nice because uh, that gives us the opportunity to save money for more upgrades. So let's go ahead and sign that sponsor. All right, there you go. Uh, I will actually edit our car style a little bit later on. I'll do that off camera and play around with some things and see what I end up liking. So we're gonna go ahead and just continue on for right now. Okay, we gotta start out at the bottom. One star team. 
And in order to meet the next requirements, we're going to need to get up to 25% on the car upgrade. All right, everything so far so good. Uh, we're continuing into 305s. Absolutely, we are. And I think, where's this short track? That actually looks really fun. We've been running the half. Uh, let's just stick with, are there any tracks in here that we have not been running maybe? I'm actually not sure. How about we give this a shot? We've been doing the half. Uh, let's just go ahead and do all short tracks this time. So what we don't see in here are places like Eldora and of course the track we just came from in Knoxville. So this ought to be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do the short tracks. All right, and what do we want to do? Well, our best option is going to be Edelbrock. This is the one we were sweating so much at Knoxville to try to get that top 15. $39,400 initial payout plus $3,500 per race. And you can see the $3,500 alone is more than anything else per race. Um, and really nothing else is too terribly close. I mean, our, our last year's sponsor is is pretty close when you add in the upfront money, but we're going to go Edelbrock this time. Go ahead and sign that sponsor. All right, we'll leave everything the same again for now. I'll change the paint scheme around a little bit, move some sponsors around uh, for that. But right now we're going to continue on. All right, we got our sponsors. We've got our schedules. Let's go ahead and hit select and let's see, what do we get from here? Oh, we have a new manager. Okay. A merch bonus. Oh, now that could be nice. Public relations manager, 5%. Now, let's go see. What do we have? Uh, let's see. We want... Let's see. Oh, okay, a fan bonus of 5% or a merch bonus of 5%. Well, I don't really know which one would be better. Honestly, I'm going to stick with the fan bonus. Obviously, the merch payout is something that's going to be very nice going forward. But at the same time, we need that fan bonus so we can build fans faster because that's going to get us where we want in our merch numbers long term. So I think we're going to stick with the fan bonus. Uh, but while we're here, uh, let's see. Let's cycle through. Now, Fitzsimmons, we could hire him for the 305s. Obviously, he's not going to give us great finishes, it doesn't look like. Uh, what do we have for this? So, sponsor goals. Okay, Calvin is definitely not the one we want to go with here. Facility managers, it comes down to do you want the part discount or do you want repair discounts? I'm thinking part discount there, and that's what we've got already installed, and we've already taken a look at public relations. So, I think we're good to go right there. All right, so let's scroll through just a little bit and see what we've got. Uh, now, we already know the 305s, we're going to have to win a championship in order to move forward. So we definitely want to do some more upgrades there, but I got to tell you, I'm excited to do some upgrades in these super late models and see what we've got in that car. All right, facilities, personnel, accounting. We know what these numbers are. Basically, as fast as we can make money, we're spending it on upgrades. Uh, pretty simple math there. Okay, so team summary. It looks like everything is good to go. Let's go ahead and continue on with season three. All right, which season or which one would we like to race? Uh, we've got Stafford and Jacobs County. Now, there is no wrong decision here. Uh, let's go ahead... And where do we want to go first? Let's go ahead and do our first super late model. Now, hopefully it gives us an opportunity uh, to do... All right, let's go ahead and start out easy here. Yeah, we want to go easy. All right, but we've got some money that we need to spend before we do any racing. Uh, and let's go to the garage. And let's just see. We're going to work our way through here and just take a look at what we've got. So if we go nine out of 10, 
that's $4,500. Now, obviously, 10 out of 10, that's twice as much money, and then some. So we're not going to pay for durability. That means that this becomes a great option. So purchase and equip there. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this part. Not going to get a bunch, $365, but that's okay. What are we looking at here? We're looking at about $14,880. If we're looking in the top right-hand corner uh, there, that's going to give us 19 out of 20. Okay, I'm fine with that. Of course, we got a little bit of work to do before we can get there. Suspension. All right, nine grand. Let's go ahead and do that. Purchase and equip. All right, so we sell that. Okay, so far so good. And we're not spending a ton of money to get there. Now, we're at 22. All right, remember, we need 25 in order to move up to a uh, tier two. I believe that's right. So let's hop into the chassis. All right, and 14,000 there. So that's going to bring us right down to 100 grand, just below it. Let's sell this part for 1100 and there we are, 100 grand in the bank. So can we can we move up? No, we cannot. Okay, it doesn't look like we can. All right, level two facility. Now let's let's hop back out just for a second. Let's just go through the screens here. All right, loading screen. Don't make me regret that. All right, facilities. All right, super lates. Now it makes a little bit of sense to separate these, but on some things it would be nice to combine these. All right, so we want to buy the facility. Uh, yes, we want to do that. And then access to rank two car parts, absolutely. Again, these are all minor amounts right now that we're spending. That won't always be the case. Okay, so we definitely don't want to spend 50 grand right now. We're not, we're not here for that just yet. We're going to work our way up through. All right, so personnel. Do we have the ability? To do any of this all right we'll come back to that because i really want to get back to our vehicle and see what we've got going on here all right so loading screen there we go that time it was much quicker all right so the garage everything looks good so far but level two engine yikes look at that 73 grand well Okay, there you have it. So that is where we can go right now. Now, don't think for a second that I've forgotten about the 305 car. We're not going anywhere uh, in any further progression until we win a championship in the 305. However, I do want to get some initial upgrades as best we can uh, and uh, take care of our super late model so we don't have to sp spend all of our time in the very back just yet. So here, level three facility, in addition to the upgrade fee, which I believe is 50 grand, $175,000. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. So we'll have some decisions to make there, but for right now, we're going to put down almost 74 grand and pick up some nice performance. So purchase and equip, and boy, that money goes fast. All right, we're going to go ahead and sell this. $1,800, yikes, that is not a lot for an engine. So we've got just under twenty-three grand left. All right, that's going to put us new team rating. All right, tier two, I like it. I like it. We're probably going to be here for a little while. Let's see what we're looking at next as far as tires. All right, so 35000 for the tier three, but 14 grand. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead. Hey, we might as well do it. We're here, we got some money. Uh, now let's go back and sell. Now that was a bit of 
wasted money, but I believe it was something we had to do. I don't think, now I could be wrong, obviously, I'm always uh, on the verge of being wrong about these things, and entirely likely, but I believe we had to do uh, 25 in upgrades, or 25% overall in upgrades before we even had access to the level two facilities. I believe that's right, but again, who knows? I could be wrong and I could have just wasted some of that money. But either way, we still got a little over 10 grand left in the bank and we're in pretty good shape overall. 56 on car performance, which is almost halfway there. So I'll tell you what, I am going to work a little bit on our paint scheme and I'll see you guys at Stafford. Practice and qualifying in the books and our journey in the super lates begins here at Stafford. So our practice goal time was at 18.1 and you can see we beat that handily, which had me a little concerned uh, that maybe the difficulty needed to be adjusted. Uh, we're using the same expert level difficulty, which is one notch below max difficulty, uh, just the same as we've been using in the 305s. However, I felt much better after qualifying because we were like a second and a quarter, like 1.25 or something off the the actual pole so that made me feel better i was worried that we were going to be the fastest car here and something was a little fishy but turns out things should be uh, a lot closer to where they need to be now one change i did make uh, in addition to the paint scheme you now see on our super late which i tried to match up to our sponsor uh, joe's racing products as best i could the other change I made was to reduce the length of the races. Instead of running 100% like we were in the 305s, I reduced it to 50%, and we'll just see how it goes. I am all about longer races, so I certainly don't have any issue there, but what I thought we might do is do longer races on some of the showcase events, and then some of the others, maybe some shorter races, uh, but again, we'll just play it by ear and, and see how things go. So, everything is all set. Uh, you can see, the one th other thing I did want to mention is I'm using a custom setup. Now, the setup I'm using right now is very close to what I uh, put out to you guys in the SRX uh, car video uh, for their setups. Uh, the only difference is the tire pressures, which is, is odd that they would be that different. But uh, the actual setup itself, the springs, the shocks, uh, the uh, the wedge, all those sorts of things are nearly identical, and we're going to test it out. We're going to see how it works, how it feels, and make any adjustments we need to from there. All right, so unlike what we were dealing with on the dirt, where we had heat races and qualifying dashes and B mains and all that, here we just go straight into the main event after qualifying. So here at the beginning of the race, we've got. Uh, 50 laps. I'm going to try to feel this thing out. See what the car has got, how it feels. Uh, remember, of course, we are just getting started, so we do have a few upgrades, thankfully. Uh, what we don't have is a ton of horsepower. This thing is lagging big time off the corner. So yeah, right now it's just a feeling out process. Seeing how hard I can drive the car, what the car wants to do. Uh, and of course, how does the SRX setup feel in this thing? And right now I have to say it feels pretty good. Of course, these are not identical to the SRX cars. You got some differences in weight, horsepower, and that kind of thing but it's still a stock car, and my guess is that they didn't deviate a whole lot on the physics. It's feeling weird right now to be driving on asphalt, because that's not something we've done so far. All right, we could definitely rub fenders here in these cars. And it looks like this guy's giving me the bottom. He, so I'm going to try to take it. All right, so far so good.
We are sitting here in 14th position out of 25 cars. So a decent sized field. I was actually hoping we'd get a few more than that. Car's not quite as stable as I would like. It feels it's rolling over a bit much. Which creates some instability. I just don't like the feel of that. I like the car to feel planted. So I'm going to adjust my driving some, see if we can do anything about that. So we've got a 50 lap race here, which is not terribly long, especially when you consider we don't have any heat races. You've got to find your braking points or lifting points, any of those things. actually find it I can drive this thing much deeper into the corner than I thought and that's even farther than the SRX cars which I was already driving it down way down into the corner way too deep so while we got a, a moment here because we are not in any traffic whatsoever again very different style of racing than what we've been dealing with on the dirt But while we've got a moment here, let's talk a little bit about what to expect from these cars. I have run a little bit in these cars. I did some practice uh, when I first downloaded the DLC. I did some practice at Nashville. Uh, of course, that would have been in a fully upgraded car since I did it outside of career mode. But uh, if you're looking for realism, this is not it. Uh, we're driving these cars way harder than they would in real life. Uh, the lap times are going to be a lot different than real life. Uh, the feel, all of that stuff. So if you're looking for realism, this isn't it. Uh, this is just fun. And so that's what I plan to do with this. And we're not going to worry too much about the fact that, uh, for me in particular, when I was running some laps at Nashville, I was a lot faster. And I mean a lot faster than they run at that track. Not to mention the fact that you don't really have the tire fall off, tire wear, all those types of things. But the car is, um, you can see it's, the tail's wagging the dog just a little bit from some instability, but it's not bad. Uh, it's something I'll probably work on a little bit, but it's, it is perfectly fine for what we need, particularly in our first race. All right, so now we're going to start to get into some lap traffic. So 25th position, that's probably where we would be if we had not spent money on the engine and then a few Tier 1 upgrades. <laughs> okay, maybe he slowed down a bit more than I was expecting there. But so far, so good. We're running 13th. Now remember, where we finish in this series is really of no consequence uh, as far as our career mode because it is not necessary for us to win a championship here in order to move up in the rest of our career. So this is for fun, and I intend to do just that. I intend to have quite a bit of fun. Track, the actual track itself of Stafford is a lot of fun. All right, that was, yep, that's the leader. And he is moving. I needed to get out of his way before he moved me out of his way. As far as how I'm driving the car, uh, I'm driving it in what I consider to be extremely deep. But then I give just a little a light tap on the brake just to sort of settle the front end of the car a little bit. Uh, it's not really to slow the car down so much as it is to point the nose and settle the car down just a little bit. And when I say a light tap on the brakes, it's a timing thing. It's a rhythm. Um, it's something I do for rhythm that I like to do in several cars. It doesn't really slow the car down 
very much at all. Uh, it's just there as a way for me to maintain my rhythm on corner entry and then get the nose pointed, get the car stable, and then we're right back to the throttle because you can be extremely aggressive in the throttle with these cars. Uh, I'm backing out basically to about half throttle, it feels like. I'm never all the way out of the throttle. The only exception to that might be if I'm in traffic, heavy traffic, something like that, I might have to. But as it is here, I'm backing off to maybe half throttle. And then mid-corner, I'm back to it full throttle. All right, so we're just past halfway. And once again, if you were wondering just how much faster the leaders are than us, well, there's you yet another reminder. All right, so I definitely needed a little bit more RPM here. You can see we're not touching the rev limiter or uh, really even getting close to it. I could probably go up uh, at least one click, maybe even two. And for the most part, you can see we've caught up with 12th place uh, where you really want to be is right down on that bottom but then you get down to the flat uh, and you can run into issues there so I'm trying to stay just off of that as much as possible stay around that white line or just a bit above because we've got no pressure coming from behind and we've been methodically catching the 12th place car so things are going actually fantastic right now Very interested to see what kind of payouts we get in this series. I'm hoping it's a lot of money because now running two series full time, the more money the better. Because I, I want to do some more upgrades in that 305. All right, we got a car coming behind us. I believe this is third place. Yeah, that's him. So if we're lucky, we can actually follow this guy through. If we could keep up with him, which I cannot. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can see 12th place. He shut the door on us there. He, he knew what I was trying. He knew that ultimately I wanted to be down there. All right, I see another lead lap car coming through. So there's definitely a difference in speed here. The good news here is we should be able to rub fenders quite a bit before any meaningful damage happens. I mean, you can wrinkle fenders on these things. I mean, we're talking about short tracks. All right, we are all over the 12th place car. Unfortunately, another lead lap car. Whoo, look out now. Can we follow him through? Can I... Oh, couldn't quite do it. All right, 14 laps to go. So we'll keep at it. Try to run him up the track a little bit without using him up. And sure enough, there we go. So far, our debut in the Super Late Models is going great. All right, we gotta dispose of this lap car here. We were all over him going through the corner, but he just did not slide up the track like I thought he might. Yeah, these things have just about all the grip that you could ever want. lap times in the, the little bit of testing I did at Nashville were, oh man, I forget, it was like a two seconds faster per lap. 
And of course, you don't have uh, the tire wear and the grip fall off in these as well. So that even doubles it up. So again, if you're looking for realism, this this isn't it. And I don't think it's in it's entitled or in, uh, intended to be that. All right, now we got to figure out what's going on here. I am behind. All right, my car does not like slowing down. That's for sure. It's made to go a certain speed. We're gonna have to force this in here if they're not gonna give us any room. Because we gotta go. There we go. I just need them to give me just a little bit of room and I'll fit it through there. This is definitely the series. If you want to use somebody up going through the corner and really push them up the track, this is definitely the series to do it in because these cars are basically made for it in this game. All right, so the laps are quickly winding down and we are just outside the top 10. This is a great start. I did not think we were gonna have this type of speed. Remember, we only have a tier two engine and then we have tier one for uh, two components and then the tires are tier two as well so our tires are really helping us out and then of course horsepower is always a good thing boy in the lap cars if you don't catch them side by side they're just giving me the bottom three to go this is almost hypnotizing you just hit your marks lap after lap All right, we are nowhere close right now to uh, 10th position with two laps to go. But again, as far as fun, um, I would say these cars are going to be a lot of fun. It's it's a shame they're not there's not more cars out here or that we're not closer together. Now, that's going to change at some of the different tracks because Stafford is uh, going to be one of the bigger tracks we'll be racing at. When you get to some of those quarter mile and third mile tracks, it's going to get tight. And that's where I think the fender rubbing and the fun is going to begin. So, in our very first race in the Super Lates, 11th position. I will take it. How many cars are going to lead a lap? Eight cars in 50 laps. Yikes, that is a serious pace that Eddie Crawford was putting down. And you can see, wow, that was a tight battle at the top. About a tenth of a second there. All right, so some great racing up front. Uh, we want to get up there and join them as soon as we possibly can. So 11th position. And let's go ahead and move on through. See how much money we get. Okay, so very little merch. Obviously, we're going to have to start uh, fresh here in the series there. So $10,610. Dollars. Okay, that's not bad. So we're looking at very similar numbers to what we had in the 305s. Uh, so now we know what we're working with. $7,800 is our portion of the payout for 11th place. 10610 overall. And that will do it for our very first super late model race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me and stick around for more. SRX, the game.